All right, so in this next section, we're going to be creating our tile map with auto tiling. So to get started, what we will do is in our world, we'll add a new node. And it, this node is called tile map. And we will be using the tile map that is going to be uh, depreciated, but don't worry. Uh, it's basically the same and we don't really differentiate between the two. The tile map is basically the same as tile map layer. So what we'll do is in the tile set, we will go to a new tile set over here inside of this tile set. We do want to make sure that it is 16 by 16, as that is the size of our asset pack. We will go to Terrain Sets, Add Element, Terrains, Add Element, and this is how we have added our ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, dirt, and we can keep the color the same just because, I mean, this kind of is dirt. We'll go to the tile set on the bottom, go to the assets, and we'll find the uh, inside of here tile sets and we will drag in the tile dirt and what we'll do here is we'll zoom in extend this up a little bit go to paint go to select property editor terrains select the terrain that we just created terrain dirt and here we go now inside of this what we want to do is we want to start drawing bit masks now, what are bit masks? Well, bit masks essentially will allow us to put things together depending on where these tiles are. So, for example, let's take a look at these ones. Now, this, the essential idea of bit masks, we didn't even have to understand it to be honest. All we need to know, and this is kind of my uh, go to thought process, is if I'm drawing on something, I just need to draw on where I want the tile to show up. So I want this tile to show up if there's one tile over here and one tile over here. The basic idea of bit masks, though, is that it will connect this bit mask to anything that only has a bit mask to the right of it on this side. So generally, it'll probably be this one. Now we can do the same thing for these ones. And then this one is on its own, so it's just in the middle. And we will draw the rest. And this one is pretty simple. It's just a square and fill in the middle. All right, so this is pretty much it for this tile. Now we're only going to, whoops, there we go. We're only going to do these. Now I would encourage you to do the rest as well. Now these are pretty simple, right? You just kind of follow the path essentially. Uh, but for our example, we're only going to use these and that's kind of all we'll need. Lastly, we're going to add in our grass tile. We're not going to do auto tiling for this one, as you'll kind of see why in a second. And let's now go to the tile map. What we're going to do here is we're going to now add uh, some layers. So to add a layer, we'll go to our tile set on the right hand side. Unselect this, go to layers and layer zero. I'm going to make this grass. Now the next layer, add element. I'm going to make this dirt. So I want my dirt to show up on top of my grass. Now I'm just going to select this guy right here, or I can actually just select yeah, I'll just select this one. Doesn't really matter. And now I'll select the rectangle and just draw my grass. Next, I'll select my dirt layer, go to my terrains, dirt, and select the rectangle. And now I can just start drawing on my map. And now we have very simple auto tiling. Now it's not too complicated though. As you can see, if I try doing anything too crazy, it won't really work properly. So do make sure that you only use the basic shapes that we have set up. Otherwise, it won't really work. So you can kind of see it gets a little buggy if I try to do anything too crazy. All right, so that's pretty much it for the auto tiling. Now we have our auto tiling and stuff. What we'll now do in the next section is taking a look at scenes uh, or essentially tiling scenes.